I'm tired. I just, just the thought of pulling out glitters and lashes, it just made me tired. And so I thought to myself, well, if I'm tired, my viewers are probably tired too. This is the Lazy Girl's Guide to Getting Ready. The drama in this look comes from the lip, but obviously you can change up the lip color because this, the look is so neutral. You can change up the lip color to be whatever you choose for it to be. And this look, like you can't go wrong. Like no matter what event or whatever you're getting ready for, you can switch up the lipstick to take it from day to night. Uh, you can choose to um, do the wings liner or not do the wings liner. You can even add on lashes if you want to take it from day to night. This is a look that you cannot go wrong with. And when you're just tired and, you're, and you just don't feel like doing the most, this is a, a great look uh, for that. So I hope you really enjoy it. I hope it's helpful to you. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to start on the eyes first today. I'm going to use my MAC Paint in Sublime Nature as my eyeshadow primer and uh, base today. I'm going to apply this with a stiff concealer brush all over the lid. I'm just going to blend this paint up into the concealer that I place underneath my brow bone. And go ahead and blend this out fairly quickly because you don't have much time before this paint dries and you don't want it to dry or really splotchy on your eye. I'm going to go ahead and put down my um, brow color. I'm going to use Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to take this shadow brush that I got from Sephora and place this underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna bring this color down to right above the crease because I'm gonna blend my crease colors into this color. Now I'm going to take a Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm gonna dip my brush into the MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow called Saddle. I'm just trying to buff that color, make that color disappear into the beaches and cream that I've already set down underneath my brow area. And don't be afraid to bring that shadow out here. We'll clean it all up when we go in with foundation and concealer. I'm going to take my Sigma E55 brush, pat this brush in the exact same color, Saddle by MAC. Now I'm going to press that onto my lid. Now as a little added bonus, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush again, dip it into Saddle. And I'm going to ever so slightly bring this color into my inner tear duct and kind of connect it here at the top of my brow. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe M321 brush. I'm gonna dip this into Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna use this um, to create a little bit of depth in the crease. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna concentrate here on the outer corner. I'm gonna to start to kind of carve out the outer V area here. Take my Sigma E40 brush and softly blend that out. I'm going to take my Sigma E06 winged liner brush and my Inglot uh, gel liner and I'm going to create a wings liner here. Okay, so now the eyes are done, let's go ahead and move to the face. I'm going to prime like always with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Prime and Perfector. I'm going to use my um, MAC Face and Body Foundation today. I wear the color C7. I'm going to take my Morphe Beauty Sponge. I'm going to begin by stippling the products all over my face with the large side of the sponge. Now I'm going to switch to my Beauty Blender because I feel like the, the pointed edge is just better for getting in this under eye area than the Morphe sponge is. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation. I'm going to put my foundation right here underneath my eye. I'm still going to go in with concealer, but I just think that the putting the foundation here first gives you a good base to work with. And sometimes you don't need as much concealer if you put your foundation under here too. Today I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer underneath my eyes today. Nothing against NARS, I'm just, just switching it up. So 
I'm gonna bake with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening, Brightening Powder. I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender and press this product underneath my eye. Now I'm not gonna bake for long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off with my a uh, Sigma tapered highlighting brush and just wipe off this excess powder. I'm going to take a big powder brush and set the rest of my face with my um, pressed translucent powder by Laura Mercier. Now let's warm up the face a bit by bronzing. I'm bronzing with my Sephora 8 hour wear mattifying compact foundation in deep ebony. I'm going to take my Sigma F 05 brush. I'm gonna do some light bronzing in my cheekbones and around my forehead. Bronzing just like does wonders. Like I don't, it's like my face doesn't really come together until I've bronzed. So I'm gonna mix together these two blushes. The ColourPop Super Shock Cheek um, sh uh, color in between the sheets and my OG Tarte um, Tipsy Blush. And I'm gonna use my sick my excuse me, I'm gonna use my Morphe G4 brush to apply this and I'm just gonna kind of mix these colors together on the brush and just kind of place it down on the cheek. I'm gonna take my Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle Cream Blush and I'm gonna again just pat that right on the apples of my cheeks just to make it look like I've gotten some sun. I'm gonna take my NARS, Illumina my NARS Illuminator in Orgasm and I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna pat this color right above my cheekbones. I'm not gonna um, go over top of this with the champagne pop today. I just want a more subtle glow. I just kinda want a continuation of what's happening on my cheeks to kinda go back uh, into my hairline but I don't want a huge like harsh like glow today. I'm also gonna take that same illuminator and bring it up right above my brows. And kind of right up my temples just to create that C shape. Now let's finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take my, my Morphe M321 brush and I'm gonna dip it back into saddle. And I'm just gonna smoke that underneath the eye. I'm going to bring it all the way across, all the way into the inner tear duct. Now for some dimension, I'm going to take this old like angled brush here. I'm going to dip it into Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to just stamp that color really close to my waterline as possible. All that's going to do is just add a little bit of depth to the look. I'm going to take my NW25 NC30 Studio Chromographic Pencil. And I'm going to put this color in my waterline. It's a really pretty nude champagne like color and it looks a lot more natural than the stark white that some people like to put in their waterline. Okay, I'm going to spray my face with my MAC Charge Water Hydrating Mist. Now I'm going to spray with my Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray. Now today I feel very lazy. Uh, so because I've already given y'all a wings liner, I just can't even fathom putting on lashes right now. Like the thought of it makes me tired. So I'm just going to load up on mascara today. I'm going to use both my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and my L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Mascara today. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip primer and I've just started wearing this underneath all my lipsticks because I just feel like it creates this really perfect waxy barrier between like my mouth and the lipstick and it kind of fills in the lines of my lips so that my lipstick sits smoother on my lips I really really like it I'm going to use my NARS audacious lipstick in Lena today it's really bright red almost orange color the color payoff is gorgeous as you can see um this is without a lip liner I'm gonna take this 
MAC lip liner in Bittersweet. And I'm just gonna very, very softly just line my lips. I don't wanna change the color of the lipstick. I just want to create some depth. This is the finished look. How simple was this? I mean, we're looking at a very monochromatic palette here, except for the lip. Um, but obviously you can keep the monochromatic scheme going and go with a nude lip. But this is the lazy girl's guide to doing makeup. You wanna look polished and nice quickly um, without a lot of effort, without the cut creases and the glitters and all that. Like this is the perfect look. Uh, thanks so much guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to share, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos. As always, I'm going to list every product that I use in the description box below and have a great week guys. Bye.